Hi folks, this is Greg with Best Choice Trailers. Today I'm going to take you for a walk around the Lamar F8 deck over. The 8 stands for an 8 inch I-beam frame. It's a very nice deck over for the majority of our 14K deck over users. Comes in optional goosenecks, also a handful of different lengths, and also a handful of different beaver tail options. Shown here is a 102 by 22. Of that, you've got about 18 foot of flat wood deck, a four foot beaver tail, and five foot stand up ramps. You find this trailer works well for most application. Gives you a nine foot transition, uh, about a 32, 33 inch deck height. Gives you a nice low load angle. So I'm gonna take you for a walk around this trailer and show you why this works for a lot of our 14,000 pound GVW deck over customers. Uh, for starters, in the deck over market, uh, there's trailers all over the map. You can go with, I've uh, seen some as low as a six inch channel to an eight inch channel frame. And certainly there's some out there with as heavy as a 12 inch I-beam frame. Uh, we found that this eight inch I-beam frame works extremely well for the majority of our customers. Um, it keeps the lightweight and the payload roughly in check for what you could legally put on this trailer. So something like this to give you a rough idea is going to weigh in right around 4,000 pounds depending on how you equip it in the length. Uh, it's going to give you about 10,000 pound legal payload plus your tongue weight, which works well for most of your skid steers and mini X's in the marketplace. So there's a shot of your I-beam frame. We really like the, uh, the front of this particular trailer. They got the jack up front. This is something we specifically requested. If you've ever had a trailer with a jack uh, deep in the A-frame, you'll know it's not real fun to get to. We ask them to put it up front. It's set far enough back that normally it's going to be out of the way of your, your pickup truck. Uh, they do a phenomenal job of reinforcing and gusseting the, uh, the front coupler area. They do the uh, six hole adjustable. And this is the new Demco uh, easy latch coupler. For those not familiar, this really is an awesome coupler. I think you're going to see it take off in the industry. So basically, it's uh, somewhat an auto latching coupler. As you would lower the trailer on, uh, it self latches. Uh, so very simple. You just saw how easy it was to pull up. And if my knee cooperates here, basically it's that simple. Awesome coupler. It's also got a built-in safety. You can put your, uh, your quarter inch snap ring in that and uh, go on down the road. Put a pretty decent set of safety chains on that. Of course, the uh, 12K jack up front. Got a pair of grease zerts for serviceability on it. Uh, they give you a little chain tray up front for putting your straps or binders or whatnot. Also there you see the uh, sealed wiring harness. Not only is it sealed, but it's also blue. That means it's a cold weather rated harness. It'll stay flexible, well, on kind of cold days like today. Today's a, uh, about a 17 degree day. Let's see how flexible it is. Seems to be, uh, seems to be uh, certainly very pliable at the temperature we're at now. You got your front bulkhead. You got your uh, handle with the step up. Put a gusset reinforcement or gusset plate on top in the center, also on the bottom. Give you a side step to step up in the trailer. You got your bullet LED light. Some trailer manufacturers uh, do these a little different. On this one here, they're gonna give you a pipe spool or chain spool, a rub rail, and stake pocket. So you've got a couple different areas to tie down to. Also, the side rail on this trailer, uh, unlike some, is gonna be a six inch channel. I've seen different side rails, some angle iron, some flat stock, uh, some form channel, but this is a six inch channel, six inch channel frame. On the underside of this, uh, 16 on center cross members are what we put on all these standard. Uh, the trailer does come standard with 24s. Uh, we feel that a 14K deck over is borderline on whether a 24 would work. We go ahead and upgrade it to a 16. You don't have to worry about cracking any deck boards or having any soft spots. 235-80R 16-10-ply radial tire standard equipment. Uh, Half-inch lugs are typically standard, but... Uh, uh, Lamar uses all 916th on their 7K axles. So you got 916th studs, Dexter axles, got the new Ford adjusting brakes. If you're not familiar, this has Easy Lube hubs. So it says Easy Lube on the end. Uh, you simply pull them off, have a grease gun. You can go to town, do your own maintenance. 
So this is the uh, the upgraded slipper spring suspension, not the eye to eye that you may uh, be familiar with. Uh, one nice thing on this, they put a wet bolt kit standard. Sometimes that's an option. In fact, most times I would say uh, I see it as an option. It's just a simple grease dirt on the suspension. Makes it last a little bit longer. For those not familiar with the slipper spring, that's just an upgraded suspension. It seems to uh, outperform the eye to eye generally. Unless you're a heavy user, it probably lasts the lifetime of the trailer without needing replacement. So at the back of the trailer, you got a self-cleaning dovetail. It's a four-foot dovetail. Generally, it gives you a good balance between uh, enough transition, but also having enough ramp angle to load most items. Uh, another feature we like on the ramps, they do the knife edge. So you get a, uh, a nice contact with the ground, low, uh, low angle. At the back, they do your, your kicker knee or your, uh, your uh, called all kinds of things, but your uh, support knee. Uh, that is adjustable. It's got your two pins. Uh, the ramp is also spring assisted, so it uh, keeps your weights down. This particular unit is powder coated. They do a uh, blast before they powder. Again, it's about 18 foot of flat and four foot dove. This is probably the most common uh, size we do with the stand-ups, we do an 18 plus 4, and we also do quite a few uh, 19 plus 5s with the flip-over ramps. Uh, options available, you can get dual jacks, a spare tire. Uh, we, again, upgrade to the uh, 16 on center floor. Uh, shown here is charcoal, you can get that. Uh, black would be the standard color. We also, again, do quite a few in charcoal. Uh, charcoal, if you're going to order that, looks uh, especially... Uh, good looking in the black wheels. If you have any questions on this Lamar or any of our other trailers, give us a ring 717 220 4220 or visit us on the web at bestchoicetrailers.com.